In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the front brakes on your Toyota Tacoma. This will be located behind the front wheel. Let's get started. Using a 21 millimeter socket, remove the six lug nuts. Remove the wheel. Remove the two clips out of the back of the pins. Using a pair of pliers. Using a hammer and a punch, we're going to pull these pins out. Depending on how corroded they are is going to depend on how hard they are to come out. These can get quite stuck. Grab the pins with a pair of pliers, work them around and pull them out. Remove the spring clip, pull one of the sides out and pull out the spring. Using a small pick, we're going to pull these pads halfway out. Just go back and forth working them out. Once we have our pads about halfway out, we're going to install a bleeder bottle onto our bleeder screw. Using an 8 millimeter wrench, open the bleeder screw. I'm going to grab the pads at the back and squeeze them with our bleeder screw open. You'll see the fluid draining into our bottle as we compress the caliper. As you're compressing, you want to do this nice and slow. You don't want to just grab it, yank it all the way back. Once you're done pushing the caliper back, close the bleeder screw. Remove the bleeder hose and bottle. Make sure your bleeder screw is tight. Remove the brake pads. Using a wire brush, we're going to clean the caliper where the pads are going to sit. We want to get all of the rust Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the bolt for the ABS bracket. Using a 12 millimeter socket, remove the bolt for the brake line bracket. Pull the bracket off. Right here, we're going to pinch this plastic clip. Pinch the tabs, pull the line through. Using a 17 millimeter socket, remove the two caliper bolts. Remove the caliper bolts. Pull the caliper off of the rotor. 
I'm gonna use a hook and hang it so there's no tension on my brake hose. Remove the rotor. You may need to hit it with a hammer. Remove the rotor. Using a wire brush, we're gonna clean the hub. We're gonna use some copper spray and spray the hub. This will help prevent the rust from coming back. We're gonna install the rotor backwards. Using parts cleaner and a clean rag, we're gonna spray the rotor and then wipe it off. Flip the rotor over. Do the same thing. I'm gonna install one lug nut to hold the rotor for me. I'm using an axle nut as a spacer. Pull the caliper off of the hook. Install the caliper, get the bolt started. Snug the bolts down. Torque the caliper bolts to 91 foot-pounds. Install the bracket to the control arm. Install the bolt. Install the bolt for the ABS bracket. Snug it down. Install the ABS plastic stay into the bracket. We're gonna take our pads and a bit of grease and we're just gonna go on the edges, just top and bottom. You wanna do a very light skim coat. The pad with the squealer is going to go on the inside. Install it into the caliper. Do the same thing on the outside. We're going to put a light skim coat of grease on our pins. It was a little thick, but as we put it in, the, some of the grease will come off. Install it into the caliper. Wipe away any excess. Do the same thing on the bottom pin. We're gonna install the spring clip. Install the two top arms. Push the spring in. Take your greased pin, slide it through the pad and the spring. Fully install the pin. Install the clips for the pins. Remove the bleeder cap. We're gonna install a bleeder bottle onto our bleeder. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna wait for a steady stream of fluid to be coming out with no bubbles. At that point, we'll close down our bleeder. We 
Now that we have a steady stream of fluid coming out of our hose with no bubbles, we're going to close down our bleeder screw, get it nice and snug, remove our bottle, wipe the area. You could use some parts cleaner, wipe it all off. You want to get away any of the wetness so it'll be easier to find a leak if you have one. Install the bleeder cap, remove the lug nut, install the wheel, get the lug nuts started, snug down the lug nuts, Torque the wheels in a star pattern to 85 foot-pounds. We'll go around one more time. And you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.